Here we're given some examples and what we're going to be doing is writing algebraic expressions for each situation. So here we're told Juan is six inches taller than Nico. Let n represent Nico's height in inches. Write an algebraic expression to represent Juan's height. So if Juan is six inches taller, we want to represent Juan's height. Then we have to take Nico, whatever his height is, and we have to add six. So this is our algebraic expression that represents Juan's height. If we know Nico's height in inches, we add six and get the height for Juan. For part B, same thing, Juan is six inches taller than Nico. Now we're letting J represent Juan's height. We want to write an algebraic expression to represent Nico's height. So if Juan is J and he is six inches taller than Nico, whatever number this is, to get Nico's height, we need to take Juan's and we need to subtract six. So there's our expression that represents Nico's height. For part C, suppose sales tax in your town is currently 9.8%. Write an algebraic expression representing the sales tax for an item that costs D dollars. So whatever the item costs, if it's $10, $12.50, whatever it is, to compute the sales tax, we need to determine 9.8% of that value. To determine 9.8%, we are going to multiply whatever the dollar amount is for the item times 0 0.098. So what I've done is take 9.8%, write it as a decimal by moving the decimal point to the left two places. Then I'm going to multiply that times D, and that is our expression representing the sales tax on an item that costs D dollars. So the placement of the variable is very important in all of these expressions. Part D, you started this year with $362 saved and you continue to save an additional $30 per month. Write an algebraic expression to represent the total amount saved after M months. So we don't know how many months we save, but we started with $362 and we're going to save every month, we save an additional $30. So if that's just for one month, then it's one times 30, and we add that. If it's for two months, it's two times 30, and we add that. So this algebraic expression tells us how much money we have at the end of M number of months. And part E. Movie tickets cost $8 for adults and $5.50 for children. Write an algebraic expression to represent the total cost for A number of adults and C number of children to go to a movie. Well, for every adult, it's $8 times however many adults. So that's 8A plus for every child, it's $5.50 times the number of children. So we're going to add those two together, and that's going to give us the total cost for A, number of adults, and C, number of children.